Do you have any tips for aspiring players uh, to help find that pocket and, and really groove in it? I do. Um, uh, you know, it's, it's so important um, when you're playing blues to be uh, really focused and really clear with your rhythm parts. And uh, that's what we refer to as playing in the pocket. That's where every musician, including bass, drums, guitar, keyboard, whoever's in the band, you know, uh, takes their, uh, adds their component to the band uh, while leaving room for the other musicians. And that is so important because in some of the lower level ensembles, for instance, at Berkeley or whatever, wherever I see uh, players that aren't as experienced, perhaps, you'll see people playing like, uh, playing too much and playing, uh, uh, playing over their space, basically. I think of it as sonic airspace, basically. So I've got to leave room for the people next to me. That's very important. And uh, so that, I think um, part of that is learning how to edit, you know, uh, and, and knowing it's, it's just as important to know what not to play as to what to play. Um, a few things that come to mind if I was going to talk in just a very short period of time about playing the groove. One of the real important elements when you're playing blues, jazz, funk or any style such as that would be uh, playing, with a, um, playing with the backbeat and uh, learning how to lock in and focus and really groove along with the backbeat. So as a musician and a guitar player and the bass and everybody uh, kind of zeroes in on those backbeats. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to demonstrate that for a second. If I can get a click going here. Turn down the reverb just a little bit on this uh, since it's a little obnoxious. Now I'm going to take you through a shuffle and then a, 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 say a jazz groove and then a, 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 a funk groove, all at this same uh, tempo. And these, are, I'm gonna, these, are, these clicks represent the backbeats on two and four. So this would be, if I was going to count that in, it would be one, let's see, one, two, a one, two, three, four, okay? So let me get a sound happening here on the guitar, and I'm going to do that now. Here's a shuffle to begin with. One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Again, uh, way different than that shuffle in E, but still those backbeats are just as essential, okay? Now I'm going to take into a little bit of funk, uh, and I'm going to do this in E, okay? And this is like a, uh, maybe a little bit toward the James Brown thing. One, two, one, two, three. three of those styles, 
those back beads are just really pretty essential. So if you're going to be working on your groove and you want to work on your tempo and really locking in, uh, working on your time, which is essential, do practice with the back beads, okay? It takes a little getting used to, but it's very important.